Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the new iPad 8th generation, and in this video we're going to unbox it, we're going to take a look at all the parts and pieces, and then at the end we're going to do a pros and cons based on our first impressions. Coming up next, we're going to see what's going on inside the box. All right guys, we are going to try and do an unboxing here in real time with a real audio, and I'm going to try not to flip it over because there is iPad specific information on the bottom of this thing. So I am going to open this. I did pre pre score the bottom of this so I could unbox this in one swoop here. All right, all right, all right. I'm keep the bottom at the bottom. Ooh, that's nicely packaged. Good job. Nice. Okay, so we've got the iPad there. Set that there securely. And oh yeah. Nice. We've got our charge cord and a charger. And this is a very well-priced iPad. So that's fantastic. Let's take a look at the iPad and try not to fuzz out the camera or mess up the lighting. All right. So I got the space gray one because it has the black bezels and that makes it so uh, the bezels don't stand out as much. And honestly, I'm not that worried about the bezels. I see other tech reviewers so concerned about USB-C and bezels and this and that. Come on, come on, quit bitching. First world problems, right? All right, so when I come back, I'm going to have this thing charged. We're going to light it up and I'm going to give you the first impressions I have of its display and other things. So that's all coming up next. Okay, everybody, I am happy to report that so far I'm very satisfied with this. I did some testing with uh, YouTube and some picture searches, things like that. And the display quality is surprisingly good. I did not expect it to be as good as it is. One of the, also speaking of the display, I think this is really important because I did not see any tech reviewer describe the quality of the display. And they were also ambiguous using a bunch of tech jargon talking about the display quality and the difference between this display and that of the, the MacBook or the MacBook, the iPad Air. Now, the way they talked about it, they made it seem like the bezel had air gap in there. Like with a iPad Air, it has a laminated display. And it made it sound they all those guys made it sound like this thing had an air gap right here in the in the bezel. Now what they actually meant was Underneath the monitor, there's a little bit of a, a display monitor, whatever you want to call it. There's a little bit of an, a, an air gap. So when you tap on it, there's supposed to be some sort of hollowness. I'm not noticing any hollowness. If there is, and I notice all kinds of detail. And it is so non-existent. Maybe if you're using the, the, the pencil, iPad pencil or whatever you call that. Maybe that's an issue, guys. But for everybody else, nothing. It's, that's, a, that's a nothing burger, to be completely honest. So if you are, unless, unless you absolutely hate bezels, which you've got issues if you're that concerned about the bezel, this is a great choice. It is a great value. You're going to pay almost double for the iPad Air, and I am very happy that I did not get sucked into that pretentious Apple crap. And I love it. The display quality is great. The video and image quality on this display looks amazing. I'm shocked at how good and how detailed all that stuff looks. My girlfriend has the iPad Pro from 2018, and I'm going to compare it side by side at some point. Uh, but just going by memory, what I've seen with hers versus this, it's not 
I can't tell the difference just by memory. So bottom line, the display is very good on this. Don't let any tech reviewer that may be compromised tell you otherwise because this is fantastic. And my vision is good and I am a picky SOB. So hopefully that that helps because I don't I have not heard anyone discuss that to the level it needs to. So when we come back, I'm going to show you the cover I'm going to use and that's coming up next. All right, everybody, here's a look at this case. And yes, that is translucent, but it's also very hard and it looks awesome. If it would look awesome if I were to remove that, but I kept that in there because you're supposed to use that information that's printed in there to go to register your case. And you can choose to do that or not, completely up to you. Uh, this case also is foldable, so you can position it from behind to set it up to basically do different things. And you find the different configuration that works or not. Uh, and you can flip it this way and then have it sitting up like so. All right. And this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form, but I'm showing you what this is about. It's also got some kind of like a, a fleece-ish sort of a thing going on there so it doesn't scratch your, your monitor, your screen, or at least that's the theory. Uh, but I'm going to flip it this way. and Because that's the only th uh, fingerprint that I have registered at this point. So there we go. And that's awesome. I'm excited. Very excited, and we're going to do a very quick uh, pros and cons of this iPad. The pros are the cost is awesome. The display is much better than I thought it was going to be. And if you're already in the Apple ecosystem, like if you've got an iPad, things like that, just sign in with your regular iCloud account, and uh, you can cross-pollinate, if you know what I mean. Or if you don't, that's okay too. I'm not even sure what I meant there. But basically, it, it, it all fits together in the Apple ecosystem is what I'm trying to say. Um, the cost is it's a great value. There are tons of different case options. So if you don't like this case option, there are a plethora of different options to protect your iPad. And yeah, the only con that I, that I can really tell is your, your basic Apple iOS stuff that I, I love iOS. I'm not a Droid fan, but when I was doing one of these takes, a lot of times I do a bunch of takes and pick the best one because I say a lot of stupid crap and I want to make these videos be as impactful as possible. Uh, basically, um, it kept prompting me to do things I bypassed when I set this thing up, like set up Siri, do this, do that. No, Apple, stop it. Yeah, like these little little icons here. So, but that has nothing to do with the hardware itself. So far, I do not see any issues with the hardware, which is awesome. I love that. All right, like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden, out.